Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to improve GTA 4's performance on a modern Windows PC like ROG Ally. I'll also show you how to use AMD's travel level implementation of frame generation that is AFMF2 in this game running on Ally. In order to use AFMF2 on your Ally, you need to install AMD's latest technical preview GPU driver. AFMF2 can be enabled from adrenaline software. It works on RX 6000 and 7000 series discrete GPUs. Radeon 700M and 800M iGPUs are also supported. GTA 4 uses DirectX 9 API which is not compatible with AFMF2. So I'll be using DXVK translation layer to translate DirectX 9 calls to Vulkan API. It's supported by AFMF2. Vulkan API will also help in improving the general performance of the game. I'll also install the Fusion Fix mod which includes tons of fixes and new settings for the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog. Click on properties, click on general, under launch options, add this line of text, I'll provide in the description of the video. Now the game will be able to use up to 3 GB of VRAM. This game was designed for 32 bit operating systems. It cannot utilize more than 4 GB of RAM. By default, it can use up to 2 GB of RAM only. So I'll be making one tweak. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. This will open the games install directory. Open GTA 4 folder. Open PC folder. Open stream.ini file. Here we just need to change all of the numeric values from 2GB to 4GB. And just change this value to 409600. All four values. Like this. Click on file, click on save. Now the game will be able to utilize up to 4 GB of RAM. I'll be installing DXVK. Just head to DXVK's website. I'll provide its link in the description. GitHub. It's free. Click on the releases section. Download the latest version 2.4 at the time of recording this video. Click on DXVK tar.gz link. Then download the Fusion Fix mod for the game. GitHub's website. Again, I'll give its link in the description. Here, features of the mod are mentioned. Tons of features. In order to download the mod, just click on the releases section. Download its latest version. At the time of recording this video, it's version 2.5.6. Click on the blue link. Zip. First, I'll be installing TXVK. Just open the tar.gz file that you just downloaded. There it is. Open this folder. Open next 32 folder. Need to copy two DLL files, DXGI and D3T9. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your library. Right click, manage. Click on browse local files. Open GTA 4 folder. Need to paste the DLL files here where the game's exe file is present. Like this. Here you go. Now I'll install the Fusion mod. Open the mods zip file, there it is. Copy all of the files and folders inside. Three of them. Paste them in the games install directory where you pasted the DLL files where the games exe file is present right here. Wait for the process to complete. And there you go. My life is running on BIOS version 339. For this game, I've set the UMI buffer size to 4 GB using a 25 watts manual profile on 3 power value set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my GUI kit KK3 Max gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Launch the game. Signing into Rockstar account. Fusion mod will skip the intro credits. We are in. Show you adrenaline settings. I'll disable AFMF for the time being. RSI enabled resolution upscale from 900p to full HD, free sync enabled, vsync disabled. Game section, here you can see the mod settings, skip intro and skip menu enabled, borderless mode enabled. Graphic setting, 900p resolution, 120hz refresh rate, texture quality, reflection resolution and water quality set to high, shadow quality set to medium, light shadows disabled. Isotropic filtering set to 16 times. Missing off. Console shadows enabled. Anti-aliasing FXA. 
FPS limiter 60 very important as I'll be using AFMF2 it will try to double the FPS from 60 to 120 available VRAM 3GB I'll enable internal lens overlay to show you the performance metrics press the control shift and O keys together there you go graphics API Vulkan DXVK is working yes Nico just leave my apartment go outside FPS is around 60 when you run the game for the first time with DXVK install the game will stutter a lot due to the compilation of shader cache in the background once the compilation is complete game's performance will smoothen out just play the game for about 30 to 40 minutes steal the vehicle ok GPU load is around 92% almost hitting the GP bottleneck with these settings graphics look very nice for such an old game this is amazing power draw is around 25 watts check out the input response without AFMF2 Getting a very stable 60 FPS now, all thanks to DXVK. Frame time 16.67 milliseconds. Head can run over me. Okay, I'll enable AFMF. Open and turn it. Enable it from here. Search mode set to high. This will prevent frame generation from getting disabled during pass visual motion. Performance mode set to quality. Just restart the game in order to apply it. There's Nico leaving my apartment building. The FPS is close to 100. Check out the input delay. Controls are very responsive. Frame generation lag value is under 20 milliseconds. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. The FMF2 works very nicely in GTA 4. All thanks to DXVK Vulcan. Not observing any significant graphical artifacts. Some fuzzy textures around Nico. Very difficult to observe these artifacts on a small display like the one on LF. Okay, I'll just steal this vehicle. Drive around the city. VRAM usage around 2.3 GB. LS hardware is getting utilized properly. Animation looks so smooth. It's not recommended to play this game at an FPS higher than 60, otherwise, game breaking bugs will occur. Oh my god, <laughs> took out that guy. And the dustbin as well. Okay, I'm looking for some cops. Engage in combat. Or I can just kill the civilians. Gain a wanted level. Ran over so many guys. Still not wanted. Oh my god, what happened to Nico? <laughs> Went flying. Vehicle got wrecked. 